Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome back to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to replace the flex tube diaphragm in a Sloan Optima, Solis, or Ecos flashometer. This applies to both urinals and water closets as the models are nearly identical except for the spud diameter and size. To begin, you'll need a flex tube diaphragm assembly, a strap wrench, a flat blade screwdriver, a smooth jaw wrench, and a cloth. Flushometers or flush valves are just automatically timed self-closing valves. At rest, water is at equal pressure in the upper and lower chambers. This keeps the flexible rubber diaphragm closed tightly on the valve seat. When the sensor is triggered, the solenoid opens and releases water from the upper chamber, which decreases the pressure. High pressure water from the inlet now lifts the diaphragm up and travels down the flush pipe. During the flush, some of the water is forced back into the upper chamber through a small bypass hole in the diaphragm. The flush continues until the pressure equalizes and pushes the diaphragm down onto the valve seat. The bypass hole size is extremely important for proper metering of water. Continuous flushing can happen when the bypass is clogged with dirt or debris. If the bypass hole is enlarged, then the upper chamber will fill with water too quickly. Alternatively, if the diaphragm or relief valve is worn down or sticks to the valve, it can prevent the unit from even functioning at all. First, shut off the water to the flushometer. Remove the cap and use a flat blade screwdriver to turn the screw clockwise until the control stop closes. Next, hold down the button to remove any remaining water. There might be some water inside, so it's best to place a cloth at the base of the flushometer. Use a strap wrench to loosen the locking ring, and then remove the flushometer head. Now, press the tabs to separate the diaphragm. Pull on the regulator to remove the flex tube. The flush volume is controlled by both the flex tube diaphragm assembly and regulator. Regulators come in different heights, and will change how much the diaphragm opens during each flush. White regulators create a higher flush volume. Green regulators create a lower flush volume and are commonly found in water saving units. Additionally, each assembly uses different flow rings to restrict the water flow. When regulators are paired with a specific assembly, a variety of different flush volumes can be achieved. So be sure to select the right diaphragm kit. Take the diaphragm and put a little bit of water on the flex tube O-ring, as this will make it easier to slide into place. Now twist and push the diaphragm in. When the O-ring works its way into the hole, the diaphragm should hang in place. Now align the head and hand tighten the locking ring. Next, use the strap wrench to secure the head. Turn on the water by opening the control stop. Now test the flushometer and adjust the control stop until you get a normal flush with a quiet operation. And finally, replace the cap. If you like this video, leave a comment below. To keep up to date with Repair and Replace, please subscribe. And for the widest selection of parts, low prices, and same-day shipping, explore our website below. Thanks for watching.